Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is the ATDP from Star Wars Rebels. This is sort of the predecessor to the ATST. Uh, obviously, it's a bit taller. I think the ATST is uh, seven meters. Obviously, this is, uh, double scale. Uh, so the ATST is seven or eight, but then the ATDP is I think it's about eleven or something, or maybe nine. One of those two. Um, so it is taller than the ATST, definitely. Uh, and it's got these very spindly weird legs and a the body is sort of around the same height maybe a bit shorter than the ATST's body but the legs are just so much taller and it's ridiculous um it it looks like this in, in the show it's not the way I've built it this is genuinely how ridiculous it looks um really don't like this vehicle much at all uh, I guess the body's an all right design but the legs are just too ridiculous I don't see how the same kind of people who made the um, ATT over there would make this thing. Uh, I don't know if they are actually manufactured by the same people, but I mean they're used by the same faction. You know, the uh, the Empire used uh, you know Republic sort of d design, so this one's just kind of r ridiculous. Uh, you know, a lot of the people in the Empire are made of you know X. Republic people is what I'm trying to say, and they allowed this thing to be used when they've also used that thing, and I don't see how that is a good design. But yeah, I guess it's tall, that's the only thing it's got going for it, a bit menacing. Uh, but if I saw this coming towards me, I'd just think, hey, that's a gigantic, weird, deformed chicken. So yeah, <laughs> you know my thoughts on the vehicle. Uh, in this actual build, this is, uh, I'm not exactly sure how tall this is, it'll be displayed on screen around now if it hasn't already been. Uh, but yeah, it should be a pretty simple tutorial, it's probably not going to be as difficult as even the ATST. So yeah, let's just uh, get into this. Okay, so I found a nice flat area. So for the first few layers, you're going to need a few different materials. You're going to need stone, you're going to need polished andesite, you're going to also need cobblestone walls, uh, chiseled stone bricks, iron bars, uh, iron trap doors as well. You also need those, and I guess uh, stone slabs and stairs would come in handy. So stone slab and stone brick stair. So we might need a few more than that, but we'll just start this off anyway. So we're going to start by doing a uh, singular stone, like so, then polished under sight surrounding it, like that, then a cobblestone wall around those four corners, like that. Now this is where you choose which side you want to be the left and to the right. So we're going to start off. Uh, we'll just turn this down a little bit. On the left-hand side, this is going to be the left foot basically. So you're going to put a stone slab and then an iron trap door. Same thing again on that side. And then on this one, you're going to do a stone slab but no iron trap door, and you're going to basically just mirror what we've just done. So uh, like so. Continue. Just like that. And yeah, there you go. So really you only get toes on two of the sides and then a half a toe here. Uh, the back one doesn't actually have a toe, which again is another design flaw that I think is just ridiculous because the legs actually slope back onto this bit. So it's, yeah, it's just a bit stupid. Uh, so next thing you're gonna want to do is take a chiseled stone brick. You're gonna put that there and there. Then a stone slab here and here. Now do a uh, another stone slab on top of that one. And then you're going to basically put an upside down stone brick stair behind that one. So this is where you um, would do that, just there like so. Then a stone slab on top of that. And then a stone slab also uh, up here. Oops, like that. And another one there. Bit complicated to do this, but there we go. So you got this basically. And then once you've done that, the next thing you're going to want to do is take a chiseled stone brick. You're going to put that there. Oops, there and there. And that's going to finish off our first section. So yeah, let's move on to uh, the second section. Okay, so for the second section, you're going to take your polished andesite now, put that on top of the chisel, and then you're going to do six stone in a row. So three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take iron bars, you're going to do two here and two here. Next up, polished andesite, one there, one there. Then take stone brick stairs, and you're going to put that there and there, and also there and there like so, oops, like that. Next up, do an upside down stair here and here. Let me just quickly change the time. Uh, there we go. So like that, and then stone slab there and there. Next up, stone brick stairs here and here. 
two polished andesite in front, stone slab here, stone slab here, and then just one, two, and three in the middle to join that up. And now once you've done that, that's going to basically be it for that section, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, next up you're going to start by doing just uh, three polished andesite like so, then one on the front and a cobblestone wall on either side, then do uh, two more sets of uh, polished andesite like so, uh, so that's one, oh, actually maybe just one, yeah just one, one more set of polished andesite like so, and then two singular ones behind it, cobblestone wall on either side like so. Next thing you're going to do is take, uh, so this build is pretty weird, uh, you may have noticed there's a lot of large chunks. Uh, I'm going to be bouncing up and down between layers uh, for this one because it is quite a weird shaped vehicle, so yeah. So slab here and then a polished andesite and a trapdoor there. So slab, polished andesite and trapdoor there. Now this is where we do the uh, kind of big leg joint that joins it to the body and you're going to basically do a round circle like so. Okay, so as you can see that now pretty much joins up to the body, uh, just like so. Now do uh, three stone slabs like that, and taking your grey concrete, new material, you're going to do two here, like so, and three polished andesite like that, and then just do a stone brick stair here and here. Okay, now that's going to be it for that segment. Now what we're going to do is finish off this main gun and the front of the body here. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go on to that and then we can move on to the actual head. Okay, so for the front you're basically going to go to this uh, polished andesite here. Move forward by two and put a cauldron there. Throw away the cauldron, get a uh, dark oak fence gate. Probably going to have to do a temporary block. Put the uh, dark oak fence gate there. You can throw that away now and then just take two end rods. And you're going to put that there and there. And then throw that away. Now the, uh, the next thing you want to do is just put a polished andesite on top of the cauldron, do a stone brick stairs here, upside down here, and here, and then a forward facing one there and there, just around that andesite, like so. Last thing is just going to be stone slabs, one, two, and three, and that's going to basically finish off the body, and we've also got part of the chin done here, so that's uh, pretty good. So yeah, let's move on to the rest of the head. Okay, so starting off the head, you're going to come to, uh, not the slabs, but the stairs behind them, and do one, two, and three polished andesite. One, two, and three, like so. Now take out your uh, cyan stained clay, or terracotta, and you're going to do two of those, and then just a polished andesite there. Now taking cobblestone walls, you're going to do one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and then join those in the middle at the top, like so. Okay, once you've done that, next thing, you're going to take your stone, and you're going to do one, two, and three here, one, two, and three. With your stone brick stairs, you're then going to do uh, one and two, and again one and two, and then a polished andesite in the middle, like so. Now fill this in because uh, you can kind of see in from the underside. So yeah. Once you've done that, next thing uh, we can move up to the next layer. You're going to do stone one, two, and three, one, two, and three. And then polished andesite. You're just going to do one, two, and three, one, two, and then just three upside down stairs on the back, like that. Okay, next thing, just do a upside down stone brick stair there, and also there. Take your polished andesite, you're going to put one here and here, and take it again, you're just going to put one on the back there and there, like so. So you should have this. Now next thing, just do a sideways stair there and there, and a sideways stair there and there, just like that. Okay. Now once you've done that, next thing you're going to do is take iron trapdoors, you're going to put three here. And then you're going to take your stone again, and you're going to basically do one, two, three, and four, and then also two here. One, two, three, and four, and two there. Now you can finish off these uh, circles like that, and you get the uh, the kind of eyes on the side of the ATDP. So there you go. Now put a polished andesite here and here, then a stone slab there and there. Just fill in this back section with polished andesite, and you should get this now. Last thing, you're just going to do three stone slabs and then two iron trapdoors on the ends, like so. Okay. Now, uh, once you've done that, I'm going to take a quick jump cut to uh, check the rest of the model. But yeah, let's uh, carry on with it now. Okay, so to actually finish off the ATDP, you're going to start by doing a stone brick stairs one, two, and three. Then two polished andesite on either side and two stone in the middle, like so and three iron trapdoors across what we've just done on the top. Next up you're going to take your stone, just do four 
and four, and then you can fill this in if you want to get covered up anyway. So, yeah, stone here, stone slab here again, and then three stairs. Two are going to be normal, and then one's a corner, like so. Okay. Now, uh, once you've done that, next thing, three stone brick stairs across the back, three stone brick stairs there, two andesite, two andesite, and two stone, and literally that is basically it. So uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be the ATDP. So a few of you asked for this, and I hope I delivered. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, definitely a cool Star Wars Rebels build, even if I'm not the most fond of it. But yeah, enjoy. Bye, guys.